All right, we're back. So now we know that snap ring goes inside of this bore. We can't get to it. This spring that's in there right now is supposed to be in there. It goes right like that. So there you go. Where's the snap ring? Oh, there's a the little snap ring groove right there. Right in there. So now we know how this all goes back together. Of course, I already had it figured out, but it doesn't hurt to double check. Okay, so now we need some brake fluid. Because I cleaned my fingers off. Oh, camera just moved. Camera's trying to get away. Okay, get a little brake fluid on your finger. That goes inside the bore here. You want to lubricate your bore. Lubricate a little bit more. I don't want to hurt to use a smaller finger to get in there. Ooh, it's gooey in there. Okay. <clears throat> Put a little more lubricant on this too while we're at it. Especially on this part. Okay, now my fingers are nice and gooey again. Get to wipe them off. Alright, so this goes inside of here. Now we're going to see make it work. Get rid of this before we make a big mess and drop it on the floor. That would be a mess. Pulls away. <clears throat> okay, so we know this goes inside. Holds it together, but it also holds this piece right here in. Now this should have some kind of grease or something in there to lubricate it in here. So it's just not metal on metal. The problem is we don't want anything inside of here that's going to get into here. So it should have some kind of a disc brake grease of some type. I don't know if I have anything like that. I don't think I do. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. We'll just use some of this stuff right here. There we go, it's lubricated. Use what you got. It'll get dirty enough on its own. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta compress this. There are snap ring pliers. Now you got a soft side here and you got a sharp side here. Sharp side goes to the outside edge. So that'd be the side we come in from. So you gotta squeeze that like that and shove in there. While well, all of this stuff is being pushed assembled here. Make sure it goes up and down. It definitely is going up and down. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So, <clears throat> this takes three hands. I only got two. So, if you go like that, push on the bench a little bit, and shove it in, and come back with your finger, and hold with your finger. Try to put the snap ring in. We're only partially in right now. So I'm going to take a screwdriver, push it against the bench down here. And I should be able to push the snap ring in, hopefully. You hear that pop? And there's just a little click right there too. These are probably went in. Appears to be in. Okay, looks like it's in all the way. <clears throat> now you can come in here, put your snap ring in there, the wires. This part didn't work before either. Ah, darn it. My pliers do not like fit in these holes. Okay. If I compress this, I can't get the pliers to go in there. <clears throat> so if I compress it, 
I should be able to slide the snap ring just a little bit. Make sure it's centered up in the groove. You wonder how strong you are? Can you compress that spring with your thumb? It's probably about 20, 30 pounds of pressure there, boss. Okay, that appears to be working. Okay, now we have this piece here. It sits right on top of the snap ring here. Let me back up a little bit. And you have the cup that goes over this. And we have the washer that goes against that. Then we got to compress this all the way down. And there's a snap ring groove right there, pretty shallow, that this heavy duty snap ring goes into. So how are we going to compress all this and do that? And of course the piston has got to be held up centered so you can get it in there. That's more pressure than I can hold my fingers. That is a lot of pressure. Need a valve spring compressor. Okay, it's all I can do to hold the spring down. And I'm pretty strong. Okay, we need to <clears throat> get ready to put this thing in there because it's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, so these are the biggest snap ring pliers I got. This has a lot of tension on it. So I'm going to try to compress this and hold it down while I do this. It appears we do have a little bit of tension on these things. Pressing the cylinder, not putting the spring through the hole like I want. Whew. It's tiring. So maybe, there we go. If we push against the table, we got force we can push down on. And then we can try to put the snap ring where it belongs. So. <clears throat> Okay, there you go. That was easy. There's some tension on that sucker. Bam! Mm. Got two springs you're compressing there. <laughs> got the big one out here, and then you got the little the one inside of here. See, that's the one. And that's two. Ah, it's pushing hard. See the pressure mark? That's a stiff little sucker there. Okay, this is our boot. The tear mark went in here. Goes around there. And this just goes up around the, between the washer here. And the other piece. Fish in there with your thumbnail like that. I don't think it's really going to go any better than that. Keep pushing on this side, it comes out on some other spot. Pushes in a circle. All right, so there's your ceiling boot. So you put our hose right here. I'm a little bit off center. Let's rotate it around a little bit. 
All right, there's your dust boot. I'm not sure what's going to really keep that from falling out, but probably not much. All right, that is ready for assembly there. This here was screwed into here. So I'm just going to screw that back in. Okay, now this is adjustable here. You hold it, you hold a plunger here, and you can tighten a jam nut. And you can adjust this what length you need to be. There's a free play in here, you gotta have a little bit of free play. But it's hard to feel the free play because you got the damn big heavy spring you're fighting. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> so that's how you rebuild that sucker. Alright, so I gotta go up front. Let me see about putting it back on the bike. That'll be interesting. Alright, let me get cleaned up. We'll be back. <clears throat> 